Hey, thanks for checking out this video. Today I'll give you a quick introduction to ions. An atom can sometimes gain or lose electrons. We call the newly charged atom an ion. So an ion is when we see the number of electrons is different than the number of protons that make up an element. And there are two types of ions. First is anions, where there are more electrons than protons, and there's an overall negative charge. So Cl- minus has one extra electron for a total of 10 electrons compared to the nine protons. And cations have less electrons. They lose electrons. There's an overall positive charge. Li plus has one less electron for a total of two electrons. You can remember cations because they have pause and therefore cations are positive charged. The different um, groups behave differently. If we look at group one elements, they have one valence electron, they lose one electron, and the whole point of that is to get back to stable um, and, or the noble gas that's before it or after it. In this case, you lose one electron. Lithium and sodium are examples of that. Group two elements have two valence electrons. They will lose those two electrons for a plus two charge. Beryllium and magnesium are some examples. Group 13 elements have three valence electrons. Remember from looking at the second digit, they will lose those three valence electrons for a plus three charge. And the examples we can look at are boron and aluminum. Group 15 elements have five valence electrons. Those five valence electrons, it's way easier for them to gain three extra electrons for a negative three charge um, instead of losing those five electrons. So the examples we'll look at are nitrogen and phosphorus. Group 16 elements have six valence electrons. It's a lot easier for those elements to gain two electrons compared to losing all six of their valence electrons. Oxygen and sulfur are two examples of elements in group 16. And group 17 has seven valence electrons. It's way easier for them to gain one electron to have an overall minus one charge. And fluorine and chlorine are two examples of group 17 elements. Group 18 um, have a completely valence or a complete valence shell. They won't form ions. An example of that could be neon, where it has all electron pairs, or all orbitals have an electron pair, so eight electrons complete valence shell. Group 14 is kind of an interesting case. With group 14 elements, we can look at they have four valence electrons, um, so they're either going to gain or lose four electrons, and either way um, is the same uh, same distance, so this is going to not make a difference. Different elements will behave differently. For example, silicon will lose four electrons very commonly. And another example could be carbon. It will gain four electrons to get a complete um, valence shell very often. So um, I hope that video helped. Again, it was a very brief and quick and fast introduction to ions. Um, you can check out our other chemistry videos for more help related to ions, isotopes, and some other um, chemistry topics. But I hope the video helped. If it did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let us know in the comments below some video ideas that you'd like to see. And please subscribe to the How To Scholar for more how-to videos.